All right, guys, um, really quick. First off, the Dokkan event for the Super 17. The banner has the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta in the last 15 minutes at 2%. So I'm going to go ahead and do two multi-summons on it because I have 100 Dragon Stones. I just bought one of the sales packs just because. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try our luck on that. Um, so this video, essentially what I'm going to be doing, what I was going to do was just go over everything new that I missed over the past couple days because I haven't been home to record it. I was going to do it yesterday, but I was just so freaking exhausted because I started working out a couple weeks ago. And I've just been going hardcore, exercising two times a day. So um, I like slept half a day, I woke up, I did a couple things, and then I went back to bed. And I just slept for like another 12 hours last night, so my body's freaking shot. So um, right now we're going to go ahead and finish up these multi-summons. Maybe I can get lucky. Who knows? Maybe I'll even pull Super 17. Really doubt it. Wow, rip that multi. Holy crap, that was a horrible multi-summon. Uh, yeah, I know this This banner actually has um, really lower pull rates right now. I mean, SSRs are supposed to be at 15% or something like that. At least for the past, past 15 minutes, they've been 15%. Overall, they've been about 12%. So who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky here. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be going over, like, the LR Goten and Trunks and the new stuff that came out on Global, at least the ones that I found up on the Reddit anyway. So let's go ahead and see. Piccolo, this is the last one I'll be doing, by the way. I don't really summon on... I'm not, not really a fan. I kind of want the Super 17, don't get me wrong. But um, I'm probably not going to be summoning Hardcore on this banner. I do like the Hellfire 17s, though. I would like to get more of them. So that way I can max the one out and get him uh, Doken Awaken to um, the Technique variant. Wow, nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, that was really garbage. I guess the freaking rates were lying. I don't know. They weren't actually lying. It's whatever is available. But yeah. Oh, he just dropped down to 1.33%. So he should have been a little bit higher. But anyway, um, yeah, that's that. We're going to go ahead and close out of here and jump into the um, actual video what I wanted to do. So we're over here on the screen now. As you can see, we have featured cards for the last 15 minutes. Uh, pull rates are about 1% right now for Vegeta. We'll go over all, overall stats. 0.8, 0.8, 0.8, 0.8. 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and 10% for each of these androids. So overall, the chances of you getting them are 0.8%. It says about about $300 per character <laughs> for you guys to probably get him or get any of them. Super 17 is at like the closest to 0.8 that you can get other than the um, other, I think this is the Intelligence Android 17. Is this? Yeah, this is the Intelligence. Um, overall, good banner. I did the review of it for the JP side, what they had. Um, if You know what? Honestly, this isn't a bad banner at all. All these units, except for like these two, are new. Um, and unless you already have your Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta uh, maxed out, there's no reason for you to not to pull him because dupes of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is awesome. Um, so keep that in mind. I, that's what I just wanted to say. This is good. Good banner. I like it. Rates aren't the best, but, you know, give give you a luck if you want. If you actually like Super 17, because this is the last time he's going to be available. Shout out to the Reddit. I'm bringing all my news information from the Reddit to you, just because it's a lot easier to have it all on one screen. Um, in terms of the new beginner SSR ticket choices, um, there's uh, five choices that you have just from, like, I'm going to do an in-depth review on that. But off the bat, if you have Super Saiyan 4 vid, um, Goku, for the strength team, you want the Spartan. He's going to be one of the best characters you could have because when he Doken awakens, his passive becomes super, super viable. Hopefully, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku event comes around during the next gotcha, and then he should have his Doken awakening at that point. Highly, highly recommend doing that, um, just so that way you can get him if you don't have him. And then if you do have him already, uh, he's technically semi farmable because you have the SR Bardocks. If you have him to Super Attack 10, do the bottom right two path so that way you can get some good stats up on him um and if not then the top left two path will probably be good if you have a, a second one because it's only 10 bucks for 10 bucks that's kind of worth it to get that card if you don't have him or if you want to open up one of the two pads um in terms of new cards we have a whole bunch of new cards that are available in game i won't be doing everything right now when the cards come out i'll be covering them just because it's currently saturday that i'm recording this there's so much news and i'm not gonna be able to have time to spread it out throughout the week um so we can get uh, upcoming cards just for the global side um it's going to be hit. Pick a look at their the, the new cards for those two. I believe these are the Doken Awakenings of them. Um, unless these are the new cards. I forgot. I think these are the, the Doken Awakenings of those Piccolos. Then we get the new Khalifa and Kale, which is awesome. We're getting them really super early. I really think, guys, that Bandai is getting us caught up by the end of 2017. So that way, 20, by 2018, we're either a month behind or exactly on par with the JP side. Who knows? Maybe we'll just be a month behind. Who, I think that they're going to do something big on Christmas for the catch-up event. You know what I'm saying? Like, every couple weeks, like, they're going to have a special event from, like, maybe Thanksgiving through Christmas to get us caught up. But who knows? We don't know yet. That's just what I think. And that would be Thanksgiving. In America. <laughs> um, anyway, new translated rebirth, Spardock Giant 8, Foster Giant 8, which is really cool. 
Um, she's a really good replacement for that Super Saiyan 3 Goku if you don't have a, um, a Saiyan Roar team. I mean, if you have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku without the Super Saiyan 3, because she hits off the um, Saiyan Roar link, which is attack plus 25%. She doesn't hit that great, but neither does the Super Saiyan 3 Angel, I mean, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku from GT. Uh, and he has a chance to turn into a great ape, which really throws everyone off. Um, outside of that, everyone else should be linking really well that Super Saiyan 4 Goku for the rest of his link skills. Um, anyway, let's see, Majin Buu, South Supreme Kai, Transforming Power, um, Dokens with the Kid Buu event, so that should be a thing. Kid Buu, the sluggish uh, battle form, I guess it's his Doken version. Buu, Super Destruction, that's going to be available. Super Gogeta event. The Super Janemba from the Super Janemba event and new untranslated cards, which are now in the system, but they're going to be for the future. Super Saiyan Gohan Teen. Really recommend going for this one, guys. He's really good on a super team, on a mono super team. Um, and he's going to be really good on a hybrid Saiyan team um, because he is a hybrid Saiyan himself and he gives super characters a key plus two and an attack and defense plus, uh, I think, 20% if I, right off the top of my head, I believe. So he's going to be a really good support unit for that team. And he's really good on a super strength team as well if you're lacking some characters. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Broly event's been translated, Bio Broly event with all the new cards has been translated, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks has been translated, um, the Dokens, the LR Goku Black and Zamasu finally have been translated, really love that card, uh, at least it's the card art. Uh, Future Trunks, the, um, the, from the Future Trunks event's been translated, the Paikuhan Dokkan Awaken has been translated, the Agility Janembas have been <laughs> translated, uh, Fusion Android 13, the Intelligence and the, the Technique ones, the Penguin Village event for Goku Youth and Arale, and the Yamcha from the Yamcha uh, Baseball event. Awesome. So much, so much stuff happening now. Holy crap, it's not even funny. Um, this is a whole bunch of different stuff as well. I think this essentially goes over everything. Bio Broly event, the Yamcha event should be coming back. Um, like I just stated a little bit earlier, and then new items, which I didn't mention, the Bardock Story Medals, Baseball Yamcha Medal added, um, Super Saiyan 3 Broly event, but I think we already had the Yamcha Medals. Didn't we already do the Baseball one on the global side as well? Um, let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty sure we already did that, though. Bio Broly med Medal, uh, Movie Scrolls, Kai Orbs, Bio Broly Support, Scouter now. I think we already have all that in-game um, as of, like, yesterday or something like that. Um, in terms of the release schedules, Hit and Piccolo and the Kale and uh, Khalifla are all be should be coming tomorrow around 11.30 p.m., so tomorrow night, so Sunday night into Monday morning, guys. Um, that's when they should be available for all of us if you're in, like, the uh, the Americas. <laughs> um, if you're um, across the sea, I have no idea what that, that's going to be. It's probably going to be uh, later on in the middle of the day for you guys. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's going to be the middle of the day for you guys. I already talked about this with the new cards. Uh, again, I like the Bardock the most. I think he's the number one card you should go for. Uh, after him would probably be the Intelligence Gohan, and then these three. Uh, this Goku's really self-reliant, and these the Trunks and the Vegito, really. I mean, Trunks, I guess you could ride and run on a hybrid Saiyan team. The Vegito would probably be in last place. It's just off the top of my head without actually doing a full comparison, guys. I will be doing a full comparison in the future. Um, in terms of the app update that's available, the new training system is finally here on the global side. Thank God, been waiting for that for a while. Renewed Baba Shop to make it easier to purchase Baba stuff. Uh, the Supreme Kai trials function is now added. Um, the force close bug has been resolved. Well, fixed, you know, air quotes. <laughs> um, so that's a thing. So make sure you're aware of that. Uh, also, which I didn't wear that this was a thing. I, I actually was looking through the red for all the news. I didn't realize the updates updated all the link skills guys so now the link skills are relevant again if you guys didn't see that a couple weeks i think about a month ago i did an overview on the jp side so go ahead check that out i'll probably be doing a full in-depth coverage of that as well um, this makes a lot of the link skills a lot more relevant like all in the family defense is now a percentage based brutal beatdown is now percentage based brainiacs is now percentage based like they're changing all the flat out boosts since they're no longer relevant and they converted them to percentage based boosts so that way they actually help you out a lot more and make those link skills relevant, which makes cards that you normally wouldn't have run in the past may be able to run a little uh, run better and or hit harder now. Um, in terms of the JP side, we now have new Nimbus medals that are per available. Um, I'm not going to go over everything in depth on this again right now, but essentially for Doken events, during you, you do certain stages within a certain time period, I guess. Um, or if you have certain link skills or leader ability, you're going to want to go ahead and you could run it. And that's where you get your Nimbus medals. I'll go over that future in the future a little bit more in depth. Um, apparently on the global side, the kid physical Goku has been added to the Dokken Awaken list without any of the information for him. So, um, unless there's probably just a glitch, but he does Dokken Awaken in the future. So maybe he was just added early. Uh, good, good to know. Uh, another thing that just broke today, the Angel of Golden Frieza looks like he's getting a special card. 
So that's going to be freaking awesome. I don't know if this is going to be a Dokken Awakening version of him, but it looks of the one that we actually got during the Paiku Han and Goku, the Super Kaioken Goku event from the Other World Tournament. Who knows? He might die a Dokken Awakening from that event as well, but it looks like he's getting his own Dokken event. I don't know what it's going to be. Is he going to be like um, a villain's leader or something else? I didn't get all the translations, but that just got that just broke now. So that's freaking awesome. Um, uh, new translations for Super Attacks. I reign supreme for Super Gogeta. Uh, the Janemba is just, you know, Kawi, whatever. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, I want to see how far we get this. Yeah, not bad. My power's overflowing now. If they took off the now, that probably would have been a little bit better. <laughs> uh, Piccolo, your ignorance of my tactics is why you lose. I kind of like that. And my key is rising, it's surging. I like that. Um, so overall, really cool, really sick. Um, in terms of the medals for Dope for Super 17 now, you need a total of 27 wins total or 189 medals. Super 17, the agility one needs 77 to Dokken Waken. And the Hellfighter 17 and the Android 17, the SSRs need 35 apiece. Uh, Android 17 and Hellfighter 17, the SR variants need 21 apiece. If you're using them to get, feed the Super Attack into Super 17, you're going to need a hell of a lot more than just 21. Uh, so you're going to have to do 21 times 9 in order to get that on top of the other medals that you need. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Uh, Super 17 can't absorb attacks when stunned, so in terms of the event, when you're running up against the event, he cannot absorb attacks when you stun him, so bring a stunner. That's going to make it a lot easier if you're lacking characters that do melee attacks on their supers. Uh, you can you can, no, you can note that if they actually have uh, like a little Kamehameha or a key beam uh, when you look at the card. If you just click on it just to get, look at the card overview, that's what you'll see next to their super attack. Um, in terms of Mighty Mass, first off, apparently on the global side, drop rates are still guaranteed for the event. So go ahead, try that out. I, don't, I haven't tried myself. Mighty Mask is here. If it's still guaranteed, go ahead and grind out uh, Mighty Masks so that way you can Z-Awaken them and feed them into the um, base form, the SSR variant uh, of the new LR that's available. It's the Mighty Mask. He Doken Awakens into another Mighty Mask, and then he Doken Awakens into LR, Trunks, and uh, Goten, which is actually really sick. So it's kind of funny. When they are doing their super attacks, when they're doing their uh, skinny tanks and oh, their 12 to 17 key, that's their failure. And you only get a skinny tanks or fat go tanks attack. And it still causes colossal damage, but it lowers your own attack for one turn and 50% chance for it to be the defense. So that's insane. So it's either going to be lowering, um, oh, so you're, you're going to be lowering attack and you have a 50% chance for lowering your defense if you don't do that. But the thing here is, when you're running them, if you're running a dual leader, that's four key that they are giving themselves. If you're running a dual, that's eight key. And their passive skill, random amount of three key to nine key. So they're starting off with at least 11 key without link buddies. And apparently the Beerus links very well, shares four key links. So that's if you have that agility Beerus right next to them, that is what, 11, 12, 13 key that they're starting out with. So you only need five key at that point, guys. Minimum of five key. Um... And then you have their 18 plus key, which is Super Saiyan Gotenks and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And Super Saiyan 3 is obviously going to be doing a lot more. Mega Colossal damage uh, for one turn, defense plus 30%, and 30% chance for the effect to race, attack, and defense instead. So that's awesome. Uh, passive skill, Burden of Hope. We already talked about this. Nine or more key, no less than three. Attack plus 120% when performing a super attack. So this card is nuts. This card is just freaking nuts. He's uh, essentially a uh, Neo, I guess they're calling him like a Neo God lead for the super agility. His super agility is key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%, and extreme is key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%. But overall, really good card if you pull him. Um, I don't know, I think this is going to be available on gotchas only. Um, he Doken Awakens from the Great Fighting Child Word. Yeah, we talked about that. So overall, really good unit, really sick unit. Um, that agility Beerus from, I think it was the World Tournament, links very well with him. Luckily, I got him. I just don't have the agility uh, go down in trunks. But anyway, guys, it's the 14-minute news for the past couple days. Again, I'm sorry. I apologize for not being able to get that out to you. I've been over in Connecticut with the new workout routine and going to work and everything else that I've been doing lately. I'm trying really hard to make sure I get new content out for you. But um, I will be going over all this in depth as I typically do. Tomorrow I'm probably just going to release a standard um, video going over the uh, Super 17 event with the team that I'm running. Uh, that that LR Android 18 and 17, really sick card. Um, I have mine Super Attack 20 with four dupe pads unlocked and I have some crits on there. I like almost one shot at the guy on um, uh, on a freaking uh, Mike Villains team because I'm running a Villains team to take him on. But anyway guys, thank you for joining me here, me here today. Remember to subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys later.